Because of my pettiness with banking apps, this video is all about things that they should be worried. Now, quick story. Last week, I have decided to put Kali NetHunter on my daily driver, which is a OnePlus 8 Pro. And when I am about to reload my e-wallet to pay for the toll fee, I have encountered this message. Apparently, some banking and finance app don't work when developer mode is on. More specifically, the OEM unlock option. And now I have to bring two phones if ever I want to use Kali Net Hunter. And a quick browse on the internet shows that this is something that doesn't really serve any purpose at all which pisses me off and that is why i am making this video mind you this is not a full hack but this is a very good starting point and before we proceed i want to give you a brief description of what an api is because this is an important technology in what we are about to do an API is in a simplified description is what the Android app will call if it wants something to be done on the server. Like for example, fetching your personal information or how much money you have. And now to use this API, it usually needs a token. The token can be obtained by the application by using the user's credential and a secret known only to the application. The secret key, as the name implies, should be secret and this is what we will try to obtain. First, what we need to do is convert our Android app into an APK. You can do this on your phone by downloading an app called APK Extractor. Now, the next thing that we need to do is go to this GitHub page, the Mobile Security Framework or MobSF. The MobSF performs a security assessment and some dynamic analysis on your APK. And the way that you will run, is, run it is by doing a Docker pull on its image and just doing a Docker run. After you download it, you just have to go to your Docker de desktop and you can just run the image on your local machine. Meaning that it is now running on 8000 and if we go to localhost 8000 we will see this dashboard now on this dashboard the next thing that you need to do is just drag your apk here and upload and analyze now the next thing that we can do um, because i have finished analyzing the bpi apk and it is being saved here at recent before we go to the static report and try to find the secret key which is our goal for today, we can check the mob S SF scorecard. And here, as you can see, the security score is very, very low. And there are at least six very high vulnerabilities that it can see. And I think the two things that is really, really dangerous is the web view implementation. The debugging is enabled and the um, WebView ignores SSL certificate errors, so that is vulnerable to any man in the middle attack. That is not something that we will do today. Instead, we'll just try to find the secret key. So we will go back and click the static report. Okay, now inside the static analyzer, one of the most useful feature that I have here is the recon tab. And as you can see, there is a hard-coded secrets in here. And, you know, this is based on the usual variables that are being used inside the Android application. But also, it has some certain patterns that it thinks are secrets or key. And what we can do is we can just copy-paste this. Go to the source code and try to find it click search and i have already pasted click open and as you can see it is part of the function called generate final key 
and I think this is some sort of a secret key that we that is being appended whenever a request is being sent. Unfortunately, this is not an API. This is a web socket. And if we want to learn more about this, this is being used in the mix panel. Um, yeah, mix panel classes. And what? We, and by going to mixpanel.com. We can see that there are some documentation about it and it is not something that I will go through but this is a third party tool that BPI APK uses and as you can see it does log all of the events. It can log all of the events from making a transfer, opening an account, logging in and if you have that APK key or that secret key and for whatever reason you figured out how to do those web socket or connect to the web socket where the API APK is connecting, you can find most of these things. Pretty neat, right? Now I may be wrong about this being the secret key and you would need other informations like the API or the web socket URL, the IP list that they would have or some other things that you may trigger in their system that will get you in jail. The purpose of this video is to show you how much information you can get on an Android app and any of those information can be used as a starting point for finding vulnerabilities in Android application. Now, do you have knowledge about this matter or thoughts that you want to share? Please comment down below. And if you like this video, be sure to check out my other hacking videos here on Hakista TV. Till next time, my fellow Hakista.